Hey guys, MetalWalking82 here, back to show us some more plunder that I've acquired over the last little while. Got a couple really cool box sets that I wanted to go over with you that I uh, received not that long ago. A couple releases that I was really anxious for. And we're going to kick things off with uh, Inhuman Condition and their brand new one, Fear Sick. And there's the back. And the CD. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Inhuman Condition, they are a uh, death thrash band out of Florida. Been around since 2020. Uh, this has Terry Butler, of course, of Obituary and Death Fame. Uh, he was also in Six Feet Under. Uh, but yeah, this is their second full-length album put out by Listenable Insanity Records just this year. And uh, what is cool is they had several different kinds of what they called uh, monster boxes that you could get. Each of them limited to 100 copies. I, of course, just went with the CD box, and uh, very cool stuff. Even the inside has uh, a little bit of a print to it as well, and I got the little note that they left in there for me. But, uh, yeah, in addition to the CD, you get this uh, really awesome flag that you can see hanging up back there. But you also got uh, a patch try to put this stuff back in the box as i go got a sticker and a uh, little magnet which i will be actually putting on my mini fridge here shortly got a uh, cool button there logo button and uh got a terry butler base pick and a uh, teats guitar pick as well as a uh, kind of, I guess you could say a uh, certificate of authenticity type thing but yeah just a photo of the band signed and as you can see I got number 12 of 100 so yeah Really cool box set. I've listened to the album a couple different times now. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, great band. Definitely worth checking out. And one that there was no doubt in my mind that I was going to get, though I debated on whether to get the box set. And in the end, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I absolutely love this band. I need to get that set. That is the new one from Amana Marth, The Great Heathen Army. And honestly, this is, I believe, the first time the band has ever actually appeared on the album cover. Usually they have some kind of artwork. But, uh, yeah, the inside, or the backside, I should say, inside artwork, and the disc. But, uh, yeah, I've listened to this a handful of times, and I absolutely love it. Um, I, Yom's Viking was kind of meh for me i thought the berserker was definitely a step up and i think this one here is honestly probably a little bit better than the berserker uh definitely a step up i really dig this and hearing biff um uh, byford from saxon on the song saxons and vikings was really cool and uh, as i said ugh, i ended up getting the huge box edition of the album comes from some really cool stuff and i actually took all the um peeled off all the hype stickers and put them on a little flash card so i could keep them Ugh. so you get with this box set a huge ass puzzle and by the way, this box set was limited to 5,000 copies worldwide. And then you got a massive, and I mean massive, poster of the artwork. Hopefully you can see all of that. Uh, not sure whether I will actually hang this anywhere i don't know if you because i would have to i would want to frame it and everything so it didn't get pinholes in it but it's probably going to stick in the box much like this puzzle because i am not patient enough to put together a puzzle <laughs> then got these giant 
like trading card type things. It says that uh, we want you to join the great heathen army. And uh, of course, kind of like the old, you know, we want you for the art, you know, the army posters with each member. And then the last one there. And then you got in the box, here's where the CD was sitting. You get a nice patch here. And then the really cool thing, and again, something that's just going to stay in the box. And this thing is heavy as hell. Is you get this badass wine stopper. Um, yeah, really cool. Really, you can hear it. It's, it's metal. <laughs> I got the rune on the back of it and then across the front a mono mars yeah i i had to get that if nothing for nothing else besides the album this right here but like i said it is going to stick in the box for safekeeping so i do not lose it so yeah that is going to do it i mean i really honestly don't need to introduce a mono mark to anybody everybody knows who they are Melodic death metal from uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Been active since 1992. It's hard to believe these guys have been around for 30 years doing this. Uh, this is their 12th full-length album. Like I said, I definitely enjoy it. Um, more than Yom's Viking, because Yom's Viking was definitely disappointing. And a lot of people said they think maybe the Berserker was better. But I don't know. I think uh, I like the Berserker. But I honestly think this new one is just a slight bit better. So yeah. Go check out Inhuman Condition and I'm on a Marth if you have not already. That is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.